What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Madden 24 franchise video. I'm your host, No ID. We back digging into some game film, man, in hopes to make us better and maybe teach you something as well. Um, first order of business, just gonna say this now, I do not quit games for two reasons. One, you might could still win, and two, you could definitely learn something. You know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's an opportunity to improve. Even in those games where you're getting smacked crazy, it's an opportunity to improve. So here we are going up against the Chiefs. I'm still in U trips. And I see he's got a two down lineman front. So I'm like audible into wing. Oh, I thought I was audible in the wing slot, but I guess I decided not to because I recognize those linebackers are blitzing. And first play, we get sacked. Never a good sign. Luckily, I had enough time for that throw because I was looking for, I'm actually looking for X right here. But he, um, he manned that up fairly well. Like he used it that well. So then circle comes open. I try to make this throw, but I basically was getting sacked. So not a good start. We hear 30 and 16. I call a um, screen. I know I like screens. And what happens is, you see he lost his icon. So I'm trying to throw it right now. If I if I can get this off right now, this is the first down. Because it's just the user and this defender right here and this defender right here. I got three linemen. And I can I can make one of them miss. Because behind is a good at juking or whatever. But I don't get the throw off because the icon disappears. So here we are punting. Never a good sign to punt on first possession, but I guess it's better than throwing an interception. So he runs to the outside. We did a pretty good job at holding that. He could have broke that, but uh, coming into this game, I knew he liked to run the ball outside. So I actually used the, um, what's it called? The game plan. I picked run outside so we could stop this. This is terrible user right here. It started off good. Oh, shoot. It started off good where like I'm pacing him. I'm trying to make him cut upfield. So he doesn't, I get engaged, I cut back out to continue to make him cut inside. Cause if he cuts inside, I got this safety right here. This guy might come free and I got him right here. I'm just trying to direct, I'm trying to guide him where I want him to go. So it started off well. Right here, <laughs> I didn't know how to turn around really. Like if I press L2, it's probably, it, actually if I would have just strafe, it probably would have worked. But I also don't want him to get out here because he's got a lead blocker. So I was kind of in a bad position. I didn't know how to really... You see how I go out here because I don't want him to get out there. But I was in a situation where I didn't really know how to make the play right there. But we do get him to eventually cut up inside. And we make the, the stop. So it's not a touchdown. So that's good. Another run. That's a good run. Anytime this formation is up, I'm always looking for a corner. But it was a run. We stopped that. I'm surprised because we have a hard time stopping the run. He got the speed option here. He almost breaks this outside, but we get a good shed by the cornerback right here. Bryce Hall. He was a sneaky good um, cornerback. He's like 89 speed. He's not great, but he, he, he made some plays like a good amount of times during the season. All right, we're in empty here. I'm right there. I just had bad leverage, but I'm, I'm pick, I am picked that up. If I have a little better user, that could have been a pick. He essentially throws it right at me. Once again, I'm going outside, trying to make him cut infield. I don't want him to get that edge. If y'all know anything about Madden, y'all know Madden will, the computer will dumb out and take a bad angle and then they just get the edge for free. He gets it this time though. And that time I just, that's just a bad click on. But I'm thinking he's going to cut inside. He just keeps going out. A little wiggle there. So we are down 7-zip. So we try it again. Not a big deal. Obviously, you don't want to be down, but it's not the end of the world. Right now, I'm trying to switch into a run because I see he got four linemen, but only one linebacker. I think I changed my mind because the play clock was going down. That's a pick. Oh, my gosh. So I made him choose. He actually chose right. He just didn't get an animation. 
I'm, I'm sure he was spamming triangle. Oh, you know what? That's a linebacker, so he doesn't have lurker. That's crazy. That should have been a pick. That was a terrible um, look. Right here, we just run it. We break that tackle. Behind with the juke. Out, that almost broke. That almost broke. All right, second and two. Going to our lovely wing slot spread. And his defender did a good job on that one, but we get the first. And that's how it is. I just... Yeah, I got my screen this time. You see, we got that block. We get that block. It's a first down. But I play the downs, man. I think I'm at my best when I play first down by first down. And take and I, if something opens up over the top, then cool. But when I just focus on getting a first down every play, um, or at least making it easier, I do better. That's a terrible throw. Was anybody else open? Let's see. R1 is coming open. Ah... If I would have threw R1, that would have been a pick. Triangle is open, but uh, Behan's open, but these two guys, one of them could break off if they wanted to. Uh, honestly, I probably should just scramble. Everything's, everything's pretty much locked down right here. Luckily, it wasn't a pick. But we got us a good drive going. Terrible throw right there. He's getting pressure though. I'm holding the ball longer than I would like to, if I'm being honest, like my timing is off. Anytime I see something like this, I think that if you do a streak and a wheel to this, one of those will come open. See, I tried to throw the crosser, he picked it up. But I think if I would have thrown a wheel, like put a behind on a wheel. Oh no, you know what? This is Mabel coverage. That's why, that, that's why this is picked off. So everything was pretty much picked up right there. That's good. That's good defense. And also, I didn't freeform this. Let me see. Did I? Nah. See, if I freeform it, bam. If I freeform it, I throw it like right here. He can't get to it. And that'll be either a catch or he'll have to peel back. Um. But I was still nervous with the free form. I'm still, I'm still to this day still getting used to the free form. So that's just on me. But now we're down 7 0 without ball. That boy is wide open. He tried to throw a beater. Um, I got caught for holding, so it worked out in our favor. Another outside run. You see, I'm just making him cut up field to make that play. Anytime he's in under center is probably a beater. So he's trying to he's trying to throw this receiver right here on a deep post route. He wasn't open. Sometimes it's just you have to know your opponent. You know their tendencies and stuff. You can, you know, it makes it a little easier to do. This is terrible defense. He caught this play earlier too. And I didn't even for whatever reason, Jones gets this bump animation that throws him way out of the play, which it's me. I didn't mean to bump him, but when I bump him, it makes me jump over here. So now this is open and then I'm out of position to even play this too, which is what he ends up throwing, which sucks because I was third and 14. I'm thinking we're about to get the ball back. And that was not the case. Run. Dang, that's terrible. Look at look at this user right here. Where am I going? Where am I going? That's terrible. That's not gonna win you games. Anytime you come out in doubles, you already know. Look for the the sweep. Most of the time, and that's the other thing. Like when you, the more you play, the more you start learning like what plays people like to run. Like most of the time, somebody come out in doubles, they running that sweep or they running a fake sweep. If you know those routes, then you know how to beat it. Look, at, I, I tried to make the tackle again, but I slowed him down enough at least. I don't think he gets to play up there. So it's third and 10, it's empty again. This time I'm looking for the, well, I should be looking for the, hold on. I should be looking for the halfback drag and this guy crossing. That's what I should be looking for. I don't know if I am. We're about to find out. Oh, it's, it wasn't that. 
Okay. Well, I guess it's good that I didn't guess that. Good, I played it honest. Foot tackle. I call a timeout because at this point I want the ball back. Another sweep. And this one is going for six, isn't it? I honestly probably should have just let him score right there. So I could have had a ball back with enough time to actually get points on the board. That's a good stop. I'm making him work for it, though. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that either. Like, you can't fault me for that. The problem is they end up scoring anyway, and now instead of having a minute 20, I got like, or what was that, a minute 40 I would have had? I would have had a minute 20. So seven seconds, and now all, and all my timeouts. That's the other thing. So now I only got a minute of 15 with no timeouts versus 120 with two. So something to keep in mind. Even though I'm down, I'm not gonna abandon the game plan, you know? Still wanna run it. Still wanna, you know, ooh, that's a nice joke. That's a nice joke. Man, I miss Behind or Bijan Robinson. That was nice. But yeah, I just gotta stay true to the game, stay true to the formula. If I got numbers, run it. That was a good run right there, could have broke. Get the tight end right here, get out of bounds. This looks like man, but it might be cover three. So let's see what I do here. The good thing is the last pass we got out of bounds. So this is definitely cover three. Which means, ooh, square was open. I'll take this, yeah. And the, ah, I got tackled in bounds. The only reason I don't throw square is because I'm not comfortable with the free form. If I free form this right here, that's money. <laughs> that's money, but I wasn't confident in that throw, so I take the check down. And the bad thing about the check down is get tackled in bounds. So now I'm running out of options because it's like I pretty much got one more play and then I have to spike it. That was not open. Mm, mm, mm. I'm not gonna get any points. So I do not score before half, that's terrible. All right, so we down 14, he has the ball, he did the speed option. For whatever reason, he didn't get the pitch off right there. Good for us. Now, what's interesting is, I honestly, watching this now, because this video is kind of old, I don't know why I decided to be this cornerback out here. I don't know what about this formation or what happened in a game so far that made me decide, okay, let's be this corner and like stop the run or stop the corner route from the tight end. Whatever prompted me to do it was good though, because as you see, I set this edge. I make him cut back upfield. He wasn't able to get the edge and we were able to make the tackle. And if you think about it, it was only us two out here. If I don't make the tackle and he don't make the tackle, then we gotta wait for Buddy up here. Cause this guy not gonna make the play. He's just gonna run under him and then he go up here, juke or whatever. So he made the play. Third and 14, feeling good. Stop right here is major. I get caught on the lineman. And we drop a pick. Oh my gosh. Perfect defense. He's trying to throw it right here, which is a good read because that's, that's open. But I guess, I don't know. I guess he was afraid of this guy or this guy. So he was trying to throw it over here, which activated him. And this boy drops the pick. Oh, that could have been game changing. He's going for it. Doesn't respect me. I'm looking for the corner. Oh my God. Wow. First of all, this is a touchdown. He didn't see him. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. It looks like I'm trying to pick up the corner, either the corner or the seam. I guess the corner, because as you can see, 
this seam right here, this is a touchdown. Because he's got this deep third. He's got this deep third. And whoever got this deep middle, maybe it's me. Maybe I had the deep middle. It doesn't matter because he gets the fourth and 14, but that could have been seven, honestly. That should have been seven. That's, that's crazy. You only notice you make big mistakes like that when it costs you. It didn't cost me that time. So I never, this is my first time seeing that. I didn't see that when I played. I didn't realize like I gave up a touchdown essentially. Almost did it again. Okay, so again, I don't know what I'm seeing pre-snap that's making me say, you know what? Let me be this corner because usually I'm on the inside. But something, something prompted me to be on this corner and it was it made the difference because he's got this guy going deep, which I don't know who responsibility. To, oh, I think it's his responsibility to watch him because he's running towards the middle to pick him up, I think. Well, he, he plays him. Oh, yeah, he plays him because he's in a post. OK, so this guy's a post. So he plays him because he has the deep middle. Somebody over here has a deep third. I wonder if I had the deep this or if he did. I don't know. But because I was on this corner, I was able to make a play on this pass. Now, if he would have freeformed it, if he freeforms this up here, that's touchdown. He didn't freeform it. Threw it right to me. And like I said, I don't know what prompted me to even play that corner. But I think that stuff catches them off guard too because you know, I usually play linebacker. I almost get screwed by the screen here again. I think this is a touchdown. Oh, never mind. Oh, hold on. It might still be. Oh my gosh. Behind. I miss behind, man. That's a good, that's a good play. Wait, I was about to say, I can't call the screen again. I'm trying to hurry up because I liked what I saw. So we just run in here. Toss on the outside. I just take the three yards. I ain't want to juke and think it'd be prosperous. He's watching a running back. He comes off the running back. I throw the running back. He breaks the tackle. And we got our first score of the game. So that's good news. All right. Now I'm out here on this corner again. Oh, I switched. Now I'm on a safety. All right. Good tackle. I don't know what I got going on. <laughs> I'm all over the place, but it's, it's working a little bit. That's a good run. Watch that street, watch this crosser right here. Intentional grounding, we had everything boxed. We got this fade route covered, we got this cover, and I'm here covering this. He only got three routes out there, so. Got that cover, he tries to throw it away. That's intentional grounding, we need that. All right. So he's trying to go deep here again. I got him covering deep, him deep middle, him deep third. I got somebody following him and then I took the underneath over here. I mean, I kind of did at the last minute. I was kind of just running in circles. You see, I had a triangle around me, so I picked him up. He throws this and my boy, Matt Jones. Wait, is that Matt Jones? What's his man name? Yeah, I think his name is Matt Jones. Mac Jones, who? Mac Jones, Jones, we got a pick. So it's a game again. It's a game again. All right, so it's man coverage. I know that. The problem is I don't have a man beater, but oh, what the? Look at this. Look at his three defenders right here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. By the time they realize somebody's supposed to be there. Oh, Leave this, you gotta make that. Oh man, that's a touchdown. I wish I knew what made them do that consistently. I don't know how that works and why it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't, but. He's got three down linemen, so we're gonna run it. I decided to run inside because he's got all these people over here. Oh, nice throw. 
And I was just thinking, like, I probably should have just handed this off, but that ended up being a score. Because if I hand this off, well, he's got a defender right here. I'm glad they even let me throw it accurately with Buddy right here. But we get it. I don't know. He didn't click on, and I don't know what that dude was doing. So, what do you know? Tie game. Feeling good, too. We got two stops, two scores. Anytime I get a... Oh, look, I did it again. So, yeah, I guess I just decided I'm going to guard the stretch. If he's trying to throw a stretch, I mean, run a stretch, then I'm going to be out here to stop it. And so far, it's working. But, yeah, we're feeling good. No traits on defense. Well, one trait on defense, and we got two stops. That's good money. You try to run the outside again. I think at halftime, I switched it to stop the throw short instead of still defending that outside. Because one thing you got to, ooh, that's a good throw. One thing you got to know about these people, they don't, they're not going to just, well, some of them will, but they're not going to, like, run the clock out. They're going to they try to score 100 points on you. Dang, that's a, that's a dot. Ain't nothing I can do right there. We got Buddy right here, Buddy right here. I'm on a running back. That's a good user by me, even though I got caught on a lineman. That's just a good, that's a good play. Now, if I had somebody with deep end KO or something like that, they probably would have been able to jump that, but I didn't. That was a, that was a good throw. All right. We got saved by a penalty right here. First and 11. All right. So here I am again. Dang, that's crazy because... I was just about to, I was literally about to say most runs with the running back on this side gonna go over there unless it's Trips tight end. Trips tight end has this counter that I like. Uh, but I'm noticing that every time they're strong on one side, I play the corner on the opposite side, which is kind of odd because you want to be where most of the targets are. Like, I want to disrupt anything he's trying to throw over here. Just me being him and moving him around right here could cause enough hesitation for me to get a sack or something. But I'm really committed to not letting him get this edge for whatever reason. Ooh. And uh, it's working. I'm not mad at it. We just got, we just got a lucky uh, animation from getting pancaked. It made him stumble. See, I did it again. He's throwing this one. And uh, I thought he was going to juke in. He didn't, so he ended up getting a first down. But we have, I mean, we're minimizing the big plays. Or are we? <laughs> or are we? Man got 109 yards, so it's not like I'm stopping him by any means. Another run. He didn't score. All right. Run. I'm still in a good spot because even if he scores, I got plenty of time to... Oh, that was good. How did I do that? People love this play. I haven't been able to figure out how to stop it, but I'll stop it right here. Well, usually I think they do it for like one yard, which he would have got, basically. But we had man coverage, so I guess that's why. But yeah, I'll have plenty of time to go down and, and tie the game. Third and goal, he goes to the speed. Oh, oh my gosh. I played this perfectly up until it was time to make the tackle. He came out in that tight open, so I was already looking for it. And you might be wondering, why am I on this side for the tight open when every time he ran the speed option this way, well, the running back's on this side, the tight end's on this side, the speed option goes towards them. If they run the speed option the opposite way of the tight end and the running back, it's a disaster. So, like chase the quarterback and make them toss it because if they try to toss it to him it's more than likely gonna be a fumble because that's not how the play is designed to go so i'm here because every time he's run tight open he's run the speed option so i'm ready for it like this is a pretty good game of like me making adjustments at the half that's that hurts though this missed tackle right here hurts but <laughs> my boy jenkins he saved me now he hurries up. He's still in tight open. He can't run the speed option again because we have play lock. 
So now it's what is it going to be? It's only a handful of other run plays in this. I know this because I like tight open. I run tight open. So he got a read option where it's just regular. You fake like you're giving it to the running back or you give it to him going this way and then a the quarterback can go this way. He could do that or he could do like one of the pass plays. So I have an idea of what the options are. He does the run and we stop him on fourth and goal. And you even see I'm committed. I committed to the running back. I just got picked up. But also where I'm committing, the, the gap that I'm shooting, pause it right here. I'm pursuing the running back, but if he holds it, I can just cut right back here and make that tackle. And we got my boy right here coming off the block. So we in position for both. We just got a good shed. Actually, me running into that. <laughs> this is crazy. I feel like this junk is raising my IQ just watching this. For real. I bump into him. And dang, when I bump into this lineman, it frees up Big Boy. And Big Boy makes the tackle. Which I didn't do that on purpose. I just accidentally bumped into him trying to make the tackle myself. But dang, that's something to think about. Like, that's crazy. I didn't know that that's a thing. So now we're on the one. I feel like they expected me to. Oh my God. <laughs> Felt like he expected me to run it, so I'm trying to pass it. But now I'm like, let me just get out of here. Get my back off the wall. I try to juke. Success. First down. Behind is crazy. He only got four rushes. Behind is crazy. He behind only has four rushes, but best believe I'm getting behind the ball. He he's getting his touches for sure. All right, so that didn't work, so I'm running it again. He got three down linemen. Most people in this situation, they think, okay, he got to go 100 yards. He only got two minutes. He's going to pass. But remember, I'm playing downs at a time, new set of downs at a time. I want a first down. We got like 10 on that one, so we're going again. I wanted to – oh, he caught me. If he doesn't, he's this user right here. If he doesn't run this, I probably throw it. Also, pause it right here. If I come this way, if I just move the left stick over a little bit, Pitts might pick this block up and I'm gone. But I didn't. I wanted to get to the outside. He caught me. Run is working so well. I only need three to win. So I'm like, well, let's keep going. And... He gets a good shed right there. All right. Clock still running. I'm not in any rush. Ooh. But then we get third and 13. He's watching the middle. He's probably watching for this, this post right here. And that's why I like this formation, because it's like they play the running back or they play the post or whatever, and they miss it. Now, this is something I learned now. Old me. First of all, let's see what happened here. It's the same thing as when I was in a red zone earlier, except he makes this throw this time. So I think what happens is they get confused on who they're supposed to guard. The motion made them try to figure out, okay, who I got to guard. This is actually coming open too. Um, but this is wide open. Same as earlier, except last time... He missed the throw. This time I made it. And I went down. I made sure to go down. Because as we talked about in other scenarios where I score here, I always find a way to lose somehow. So, um, oh, here's another. Oh, wait. Yeah. I thought that I hurried up, but I didn't. So he didn't call a timeout or anything. So, like, now I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to snap the ball. I'm just going to call a timeout. Kick the field goal. We iced, but it don't matter. We got the slow down thing. Pretty confident in that. That's why I invested in a kicker and we got a W. So yeah, that was this game. Don't quit. Just keep trying, persevere, learn something. If you lose, at least you learn something. You got better for next time. Or you just might win. You never know. But uh, this was an interesting game. Um, 
yeah. So hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And um, until next time, as always, take care of yourselves. Peace. Let's